नमस्ते नमस्ते बेटा आई हैव टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट समथिंग वेरी सीरियस इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑप्शंस बेसिकली यू डू इक्विटी एक्सेट्रा ना डू यू नो व्हाट गिव्स बेटर देन इक्विटी रिटर्न्स सबसे अच्छा आई डोंट नो इफ देयर इज अ बेस्ट एसेट क्लास अंकल बट चिट फंड्स चिट फंड्स आर अ वेरी सिंपल सी द चिट्टी इज आउट इन दिस रजिस्टर आई विल पुट योर नेम हियर वेदर द चिट कम्स आउट और नॉट यू विल मेक 25% रिटर्न्स Guaranteed. Twenty-five percent guaranteed returns, Uncle. I don't think you understand how chit funds work. I have been doing this for a long time. Everyone over here has made a lot of money. Uncle, you are mis-selling. What? What? This is not how chit funds work. You're but the miss. Guaranteed. I mean, how can you say this? No. This is completely wrong. No. This wrong. is how chit funds work. You, know, you don't guys, understand. Chit funds Ask are actually them. decently popular. In fact, lot of people. are participating in it have participated or want to in fact we've heard of all these big businessmen do scams but you've probably not heard of chit funds doing scams as well and like any financial product there are pitfalls as well 30000 crores are you kidding me this is an actual issue so in this episode we'll de influence chit funds we'll talk about the good we'll talk about the bad cuz certainly nobody else is so let's get started So let's understand what a chit fund is. Over here I have my little chit fund of four individuals, four members. Why don't you all pool in your money? Notice they're all putting 1000 rupees each equally for this month. We have a total chit of 4000 rupees. Now what happens with this money? Remember, this is a savings and return scheme for these guys. So this person over here will now bid in a reverse auction. Weird, right? Let's see what happens. Bid Thirty-five. Thirty-five hundred in a pool of four thousand. Okay. Three thousand. Three thousand bid. The bids are going lower. Okay. He doesn't want to bid this time. Four thousand. Four thousand. Interesting. Now the person who has bid the lowest, not the highest, the lowest, which is three thousand, actually wins the pot. But he doesn't get the four thousand. He wins only what he bid for. That's three thousand. So what happens with this extra one thousand that's left over? Well. after i get my little commission from this as the foreman and this amount which is left over which is distributed amongst everyone is called a dividend it's how they earn now notice the person who does not bid keeps earning throughout all the months so the longer you hold you'll actually earn something from this pot notice it's just the community they're not adding or creating anything together it's just these people working to save and then hopefully earn something over a long period of time Remember a chit fund is completely legal and has been around for a really long time. In fact, it's governed by the 1982 Chit Funds Act. So now let's go to month number 2 and see what happens. So members put in your contribution. Same thing, 1000 rupees each, but this time let's see how the auction goes. He cannot actually bid because he's already won once. 3500. 3500. He's not bidding. Twenty-five hundred. Twenty-five hundred. Excellent. So he has the lowest bid, and he takes the twenty-five hundred. So one thousand, one thousand, another five hundred. This is yours. And this money that's left over will be divided equally amongst everyone except him, of course. This time, notice that the money left over is a little more than last time. And notice he, because he didn't participate, and he, he didn't win. They actually earned something that month. This is why chit funds are really popular. You know what else is popular? The zero one fest. Here you can meet like-minded people like all these guys. It's happening on the 28th of April in Bangalore at Jai Mahal Palace. To get the free passes, you need to prove that you're a zero one fan. So go to zero one by zero da dot com, complete the mission, and earn your pass. See you there. Now back to the episode on the advantages of chit funds. Some advantages are that the unbanked people who do not have access to a bank account or just may not trust it use this place. Another reason is that since it's within the community, it feels familiar, it feels nice, it feels warm, it doesn't feel too transactional. Third, everyone can participate, there is no collateral required. And fourth, financial discipline. Not only is the paperwork minimal, you also are forced to put in some amount every single month. Now imagine someone who is forced socially to put in something because everyone around them is putting it's a great way for them to set aside some money and place it somewhere and hopefully save for a long time 
And you're probably wondering what happens when no one actually bids. Then what? Well, in that case, they take out a chit, literally, and whoever wins that chit actually gets the pot. That's why it's called a chit fund. Now let's imagine 15, 16, 20 months go by and these guys think that this is trustworthy. This is working well. And they keep pulling in their money again and again and again as their trust goes high. And one day in this fraudulent chit fund, I assemble the money. Hey guys, check that out. Hey, hey, go, 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 go. So like I said, all chit funds are legal, but there are some chit funds which start with the angle to dupe people and we'll cover those. The first one is a multi-level marketing structure. Over here, one agent appoints 10 agents, those 10 agents appoint another 10 agents each and so on and so forth. Because it creates a pyramid scheme, the mis-selling happens here. Each agent can have a commission up to 40%. Now, when you incentivize an agent with so much commission, he will be desperate to say whatever is needed to sell this chit fund to unsuspecting customers. And usually, this agent might say guaranteed returns. He might say, paise double ho jayenge. He might say, this is the best investment with zero risk, so on and so forth. This is called mis-selling and unsuspecting customers think it's okay. This guy is from the community. This guy is well respected. Everyone knows where he lives. Hmm, it's fine. He's not a corporate. He's not from a large company. There is not much paperwork. Let me trust him. So if you're investing in a chit fund, you have to make sure that this multi-level agent structure does not exist because it's not supposed to happen in a chit fund. I already showed you how a chit fund actually works. You don't need an agent reporting to another agent. Sometimes one agent can have a hundred agents under him. And this is not even the half of it. Once there was a chit fund, a real chit fund, which had 70 lakh agents. In fact, there was another chit fund, really famous, called the Sarda Chit Fund, which took away tens of thousands of crores. And once the entire house of cards fell, I think hundreds of agents took their own lives because of the societal pressure. So make sure if you're ever investing in a chit fund or know someone who's doing it, this multi-level marketing agent format should not be in that fund. The second kind of risk is that a chit fund is not operating like a chit fund, but a Ponzi scheme. A Ponzi scheme is a very common fraudulent way of taking money from investors in many different kinds of investment vehicles. And it also happens in chit funds. Here's how it works. What if the chit fund said, I will give you guaranteed returns. I guarantee a 50% return year on year or a 100% return year on year no matter what. How does that happen? Well, what it simply do is when a new investor comes, takes that money and gives it to someone who's been invested for a long time. So I'm simply taking someone else's cash and giving it to them. We're not actually following the rules of the chit fund and this is not sustainable. The only way to sustain this is that new investors keep coming in again and again and again. So their focus becomes on user testimonials making a lot of money and second, a lot of advertising. I'm talking about a crazy amount of advertising. Celebrities, events, the works. It will look like a shining diamond in the sky and more people keep entering, the Ponzi continues, the guaranteed returns happens. And for some reason, this diamond in the sky suddenly stops getting new investors. Now, when you stop getting new investors, you can't pay the old investors the guaranteed returns. Where does the money come from? You have more liabilities and less assets. The only thing for it to happen is that the house of cards falls and the owners of the chit fund take the money and run. So make sure if anyone is considering a chit fund, it should never offer a guaranteed return or a return that seems too high from what the market is offering. It has to be at market or near market. It can't be above it because that's something wrong. But remember, no financial product, whether regulated, unregulated, whatever, can ever offer a guaranteed return. That's something that's just not allowed because returns is what the market decides. The third kind of risk in a chit fund are ghost subscribers. Now, when we had those four members on this table, you could see them and you could see them actually investing. But what if I added a bunch of people with fake IDs 
trying to show you and convince you that this fund is really, really popular. Many people are investing in it. So this is one kind of risk, identity risk or the ghost subscriber risk. I'm not sure how we could actually beat this kind of risk, but if you do put it in the comments, I'd love to understand how we could be a little more transparent about this. In fact, one of the top 50 cheat funds in the country had an allegation from the CID saying that they have ghost subscribers. So in summary, here are some red flags of a cheat fund. The first are unbelievable returns. If the company promises abnormally high returns, be skeptical. The second is lack of transparency. If a company provides limited or unclear information about the company's operations and financials, be skeptical. The third is the most obvious, pressure to recruit. If someone comes in and tries to get as many investors as they can really aggressively, these sales tactics generally put so much pressure on the agents that something goes wrong with the fund. No one should be so aggressive in trying to get new investors. Missing or delayed payments. If participants are experiencing delays in payments of promised returns, be skeptical. And unregistered companies. Operating without proper registration or licenses is obviously not good. You want the chit fund to be legal under the act. A bunch of people actually asked us to cover chit funds in these comments over here. So we actually did an entire episode about it. To be honest, a lot of people don't do chit funds. I mean, I've never done chit funds. But the truth is, when we were actually researching this, we went around the office and turns out someone's brother or sister or uncle had actually invested in a chit fund and they actually lost money. And it felt good and warm to them because he, that person was part of the community. That's when we thought finding the right topic we can't do in this office. We'll have to listen to your comments. So thank you for saying that. But if you have other topics that you think we should de-influence, please tell us in the comments. And if you're not sure, look at the playlist. We've covered everything from MLM schemes to mutual funds, you name it. So help us make a nice playlist and tell me what you want to cover. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next episode. फिर ये बोलेगा चाचा जी ने बोला डाल दो तो हम तो डाल दीजिए ये 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 बोलेगा <laughs> पूरा अपने बारे में बताओ, बताओ। मेरा नाम मुकेश है क्यों पान खा रहा है मेरा नाम मुकेश है मैं बिजोली गांव में रहता हूं रेखा से शादी करूंगा <laughs> रेखा तो मेरी है बस